So the next part to finish up the AC engine is we're going to go ahead and install the rest of our rockers. Refaced rockers, they're all assembled, new bushings, all the adjusters are in them. We've got our rocker shafts where I've gone ahead and put all the RSR seals on. And we're just going to go ahead, set everything up, and then we'll wrap this up. So when installing the rockers, the rockers need to be on TDC, top dead center compression of whatever cylinder you're working on. Now you can jump back and forth from side to side. I usually like to do one side, get the covers on, and then do the other side. So I'm going to follow the firing order, but it's every second cylinder. So this is cylinder number one, so the next cylinder to fire would be six. The next cylinder after that would be cylinder two. So I'm going to crank there's cylinder six on that mark. And cylinder two. So now I can go ahead and install my rockers on the intake and exhaust on number two. So I've got all of the rockers installed, all of my valve clearances set. I have the lower valve covers installed and topped. So before I close up on the top side, normally what I'll do is just take my oil can and give everything a final coat of oil. Make sure the cam's coated. Make sure all of the uh, rockers get a good dosing of oil. And I can hit the exhaust rockers from the top side without having to worry about oil hitting all over the ground. Just going to run all my nylocks down until they contact and then I'm going to torque it because these are still the original magnesium covers. We're going to go a little bit lighter around 18 newton meters versus the normal 20 to 25.
Oil seals go in clean and dry. There's no sealant, no silicone grease required. 